Here in this chapter, uh, we will start our exploration of uh, exchange rates in the foreign exchange market. Okay, this is an introductory chapter. Uh, we will talk about uh, you know some uh, basic but fundamental uh, and important uh, concepts about exchange rate in uh, foreign exchange market. Okay, and after this chapter. Um, we will discuss um, a variety of issues, um, such as you know how the exchange rate is determined in the short run versus long run. Okay, uh, law of one price and purchasing power parity. And uh, towards the end of the semester, we're going to discuss the monetary policies uh, for an open economy. But all of these. Um, you know, topics we're going to uh, discuss later are actually built upon this chapter. Okay, so this is a very important um, chapter. Okay. All right, first of all, let's get the exchange rate uh, defined. Okay. Now, the definition is the relative price between the two currencies. Okay. And of course, um, you know, because there are two currencies involved, so there are um, two different ways the rate can be quoted. Okay, uh, either way is fine. Okay, now here um, the first way is uh, the number of uh, units of the foreign currency per unit of home currency. Okay, uh, for example, here um, in this chapter, we're gonna say that the U.S. is the home currency. Okay, and we're going to talk about its rate uh, against several other uh, major currencies in the world. Okay, now for example, here how many uh, Japanese yens can be exchanged for one dollar? Okay, and uh, as of now, um, I find that you know the exchange rate between yen and the U.S. dollar is one hundred twenty-eight yen. Per dollar, okay. Once again, here it's number of foreign currency Japanese yen per unit of uh, home currency U.S. dollar. All right, and of course it can be quoted the other way around. Okay, we could say the number of units of domestic currency per unit of foreign currency. Okay, in other words, in this example, it'll be how many dollars can be exchanged for one. Japanese yen, okay, and as of today, that number is 0 0.0078 dollars per yen, okay. Uh, once again, either way is fine, and it, actually both are pretty common, okay. And um, if you guys can simply, um, you know, Google like exchange rate between U.S. dollar and Japanese yen. You would find different platforms, different websites. They use different ways, okay, um, to quote this rate. And um, so here is the um, uh, a hyperlink for the web page um, on the uh, Bloomberg, okay. And I will show you guys this uh, during our class meeting, okay. And um, on Bloomberg, you would find that you know um, when they um, demonstrate the exchange rate between a pair of currencies, uh, usually the first currency is the home currency, okay, and uh, the default number of unit would be one, and the second currency would be the foreign currency, and the default. Uh, unit uh, number of units would be you know the rate itself, okay. Uh, in other words, for example, if it shows uh, the you know the exchange rate between the U.S. dollar and Japanese yen, then it will show USD, which stands for U.S. dollars, slash JPY, which is Japanese yen, equals one hundred twenty-eight. Okay. Again, that means one U.S. dollar is equivalent to 128 Japanese yen. All right. 
And um, so the exchange rate uh, is actually pretty useful, okay? not just for investors or businesses, even for um, average consumers' household. Okay? When we are trying to figure out the cost or the price of a good or service between the two currencies. Okay? Now, here is a quick example. Uh, if we're trying to figure out how much does a Honda Civic cost, now we would probably be able to find this uh, sticker price in Japan is uh, 3.5 million yen. Okay? And uh, if we're trying to figure out how much it should cost in the United States, then we need to find uh, its exchange rate okay, uh, between these two currencies. And then we use 3.5 million yen multiplied by uh, 0.0078 dollars per yen. So we would be able to find that the price in dollars should be 27,300. Okay. The interesting thing I want to ask you guys to think about is, do you think this is always true? In other words, if we go to Japan and find over there, the Honda Civic is sold at 3.5 million yen. And we know that the exchange rate is given here. Does that mean here in the U.S., the Honda Civic would be sold at $27,300? Could this price be different? For example, in the U.S., we find the exact same model, Honda Civic, is sold like $32,000 or $25,000 either higher or lower than this price we calculated by using the exchange rate. Now, if that happens, in other words, the actual dollar price is different from the price we calculated, there would be a gap, right? Then what factors could cause that gap? Okay? Think about this using your common sense and bring your thoughts to um, class and we will discuss that okay this is going to be interesting okay because oftentimes uh, people would find that there is a gap and they're trying to figure out you know what causes the gap all right now here uh, this very simple example we discussed uh, is the rate between the two currencies right in reality um, sometimes people would like to find the cost or price of a good or service among multiple currencies. In other words, more than two currencies. Okay? Now, how could we do that? I give you a question on the worksheet okay? and several other things you uh, guys need to think about on the basis of that numerical example. Okay? Once again, uh, go ahead and check out the worksheet and um, um, in bring your thoughts to class okay all right there are some uh, uh, common misconceptions about the exchange rate uh, i think we'd better wait till the next video to talk about that because uh, i don't think i can finish that within this video all right